So one of the things you're going to want to do is to customize your checkout page. To do that, you can go to online store and just go into the customize for your theme here and it'll open up this page again and you're going to want to act like you're checking something out. So click on maybe one of your bikinis or whatever you're selling, add to cart and then view cart. And then this is what your cart looks like and you're going to hit checkout. Now, once you're on this checkout page, you can open your checkout settings over here on the side and you can add background images. You'll want to add your store logo. Uh, I didn't make a logo for this store, but it'll change this to your store logo and you're going to really want to do that. Uh, you can change the position, the size. I usually like to center it. This is just the center. Uh, it'll center your logo and you can change the backgrounds and everything. And this is important too. They have separate colors for the buttons here, the accent color and the button color. And for some reason, they're not the same as the buttons in your store. You could actually make the checkout look different. So uh, you want to ideally just match the button color. I don't remember what it is, but you want to just match the button color of your store, make it really cohesive. And then once you're done with that, you could hit save. But the big thing is you just want to add your logo and make sure the colors uh, match your store. Those are kind of the big things. But we're not done editing the checkout yet. If we go back to click on this little Shopify icon, we'll just go back to the Shopify dashboard. If you click the settings down at the bottom here, there's actually checkout options here in the settings. So go ahead and hit checkout. And we're going to change some of these options. So this is customer accounts. This means you can't have customer accounts. I like to have it optional. If you create a big store and you have a lot of customers, they may want to create an account on your store. So accounts are optional. Customers can check out using either their phone number or email. I would only just put email. I don't think they should be able to check out with their phone number because you want that email because you want to possibly market to them in the future. So anyway, I just check that. And then it says here to receive shipping updates, customers can add their phone number or email to receive shipping updates. You do want that. I think people would like that. Full name requires last name only, requires first and last. Last name, this is fine. Hidden address line to optional shipping phone number. Uh, tipping, if you're doing something that maybe you want your customers to tip, you can have them tip. This is fine. Autocomplete uh, address. All this stuff is pretty much fine. One other thing I like to do is to pre-select the sign up option. This allows you to collect emails to market to your customers. And if it's pre-selected, they're very unlikely to check this box themselves. But if it's pre-selected, they are likely to not uncheck it. So I like to pre-select this box. And then, of course, your checkout language, you can change it to whatever you want. So those are the few settings I like to change in the checkout settings. And then we'll hit save.